He's best known for his roles in Anchorman and NBC's The Office. My new best friend, comedian David Kechner, joins us live in our studio to tell us what brings him to Iowa. Thanks so much for joining us. This probably feels uh, comfortable to you after being on Anchorman. Well, anyone sitting next to you, Sonny, is going to feel comfortable, and that's really the reason I came to meet Sonny Lane, and it's a lifelong dream, and here it is. Uh, here it is. You're talking about your bucket list. Boom. This is way up there. I'm all about making Top dreams three. come true. And you have. I, oh, I'm so glad. And you and I kind of share a hair color. A, a lot of bit. things. A, lo a lot of well, things. Well, because you've got some red hair. I've got some red in my si sideburn. Yeah. I've also got yeah. that. You got, I Maybe just, just a little a more on top. Hair. My right kids here. are sometimes say, Dad, aren't you going to wear a hat so we don't all get embarrassed? I embarrassed. Oh, oh, you've got a little 5 o'clock shadow going. 5 o'clock. But a That's lot of women days. find that attractive, actually. Does Sunny Lane? Um, sure. I didn't yeah. believe that, and I know our viewers didn't either. Um, Sunny, <laughs> I tell you what, if you had a ball right here, I would dive into water after Would it. you? Oh. Jeff Eliasoff did not. I'm Jeff, really disappointed. Come on. Jump in the water. Yeah, maybe next you time. You come out of Joker's Comedy Club, and I will build a tank of water and, and, and dive after a ball if people throw it. I'm oh. like a dog. If you throw anything in front of me, I will dive after it. Try it. Some people throw that might pen. take you out. Oh, oh, look at that. See, I can't help Complete it. Complete with, with yeah. barking and everything. Right. Well, well, let's talk about that. So tonight, you're going to be at Joker's. We're going to be at Joker's. Cedar Falls. It's in conjunction with the River Fest, but just an hour and a half away. Okay. So it's festival-like. <laughs> just like that. The atmosphere that. is going to be festival-like, folks. Uh, there may be clowns. Uh, there may be jugglers. Are you the clown? I'm that. You are. The Do you clown. juggle? Nope, but no. I'll try. Okay. I just want to entertain the good people. Okay. Where's my camera? This one? Right now, that is yours. That's wonderful. Now, with this Can kind I flirt of with the viewers? derby hat, I, I think you're doing that. Can right. I flirt with the viewers? Well, I do feel a little cheated on. Yo, you oh. S sit over here. <laughs> no, that's sit on no, my lap. No, no, I, I better viewers? not. Where's the people? No. What? I thought they'd be like, you should sit on my lap. People would talk about it. <laughs> they, they would. Well, let's talk about this. I, <laughs> I literally dug this out of the, uh, oh, wow. the makeup that. room. This is our very own Ron Steele as Ron Burgundy. You used to have his own street right here in town. Y you're right. You yeah. saw it in the newsroom. And Rick Coleman as your character, Champ Kind. I think you and he look a lot alike. What I think so, think? too. I think Rick's actually think? better looking than I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of fun, but apparently Ron Steele's wife, Candy, calls him Ron Burgundy. Sometimes. Really? Just as a joke. You know what? It takes a lot of different methods to keep a marriage alive and yeah. hot. <laughs> Uh, and I applaud them. I think it was it was her. If you her. Would bring the, the Anchorman gang into your bedroom, <laughs> uh, I applaud you. I think she was. Well, he has no ego, in all honesty. But I think she was just kind of keeping him. Okay. Kind of keeping it. Yes. I have. I have to ask you this. What is this girl doing? She took my hand. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. I. Oh. Okay. Uh, here. Take this pen. How about that? Whoa. Um, who is going to be the new manager on the office? I have to ask I don't know. you. I honestly don't know. And if you I did know, don't know, and I was saying earlier, if I did know, and I broke the story in Waterloo, Iowa, I don't think they'd be very happy with me. I think I know that they have several options. They're thinking about a couple of different scenarios that would work okay. for the show. But I'm sure it's going to be exciting and well worth watching right here on NBC. That's right. Well, a lot of politicians they announce in Iowa. So that, yeah, why right, not NBC? Right. You're, I, I agree with you 100. <laughs> percent Like that, I'm no longer in control of the network. I was for about a week and a half, and then they took it back from me. It was just too good yeah all right so tonight and tomorrow you can see David at Jokers in Cedar Falls don't miss it 7 30 p.m. 9 30 p.m. so you're getting your energy up I mean that's some stamina yeah for those shows right okay. me and the dogs you and the dog are you gonna come can I bring my toddler yes <laughs> how old she's 17 months oh please bring her for We'll keep her in the I don't know room. about I'll it. I'll babysit. You'll babysit. I will. Okay, you're a man of many talents. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So is that a yes? It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I, she wants out of this interview so badly. It's a big but I'm not maybe. This has I been will, the best time of my life. I will pay for your life. babysitter. Oh, you will? I will. Is your mom in town? No. But I do, I do appreciate that. I might take you up on it. Eileen, what are you doing? Where'd Eileen go? She didn't stick around for the interview. We're going to continue Eileen's, on Eileen's with Eileen's this gonna, I'm not leaving the studio. Uh, Eileen is going to watch your, your baby. Okay, Eileen. I'm sure she should be up and for that. And then she can come on Saturday night. We'll be right back.